Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm here today with another process video, but before I get started with that, I want to just say two things. One is I was trying to do my videos on scheduled days every week, and I've gotten a little bit behind because work has been crazy. And so I apologize for that. I'm going to try to get back on a normal schedule, hopefully this week or next week. And then the second thing is that I am up to 50 subscribers and I love it. I know, you know, that's a lot smaller number than other people have, but for me, 50 is fantastic. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed and is watching my videos. I do greatly appreciate it. To get started today, I'm going to do another layout in my Traveler's Notebook, and I've done a couple videos on this already. I have two layouts done so far, and this Traveler's Notebook is featuring photos from a local little adventure I took to a suburb called White Bear Lake. So I'm continuing on with those photos. And I had lunch there and then went on a little photo walk to explore the downtown area because they have really cool stuff there. So these are the pictures I'm working with today. I have two three by fours. I found this um, Project Life style. I don't think it's actually from Project Life, but it's that type of card. I found that that I thought would be cool because it kind of matches these colors here. Some background paper and then this little flare badge it's got adhesive on the back that says mm, bacon because my daughter was with me and she actually did have bacon on her meal choice and then the other thing that I want to note is I'm using this as my inspiration now this is slightly smaller than three by four and this is four by four but I'm going to tweak it to work with the size that I have and I think it'll be fine uh, so this green paper here is what I'm using for this portion and I noticed that they used a different pattern paper over here. I may use what's left of the green or I may find something different. I'm not, I'm not totally sure yet. But these are the pieces I at least wanted to start with to kind of make an adjustment of this happen. So I'm going to start off with all of this stuff and just see where it takes me. So far, I took that green paper. I just cut it in half. It was a six by six piece of paper from some paper pad. I don't even remember which one, but it was a six by six. So I just cut it in half. So I took the first piece, put that here as the background and then put down the cards. So you can see looking pretty similar to this. Now, the problem that I ran into right away is that a three by five, four photo was not going to fit here. It was a little too tall. So I cut this down to three and a quarter by three. So it's not quite square. But I figure that will fit and then I don't lose the smiley face. I kind of like that. So I, so I don't want to lose that. So it'll look similar. It'll be a little bit more square than what's featured. Let me bring it up here. Than what's featured here. Um, but it'll be, it'll be close. So I think, whoops, there. I think that's what I'm going to do to kind of solve that problem. Then I have to find something that's going to go up here. And it might be this because they had a circular element. Um, but the bacon's actually in this picture, so I'm not sure if I want those on the same page or not. Um, but I'm going to look around and see if I can find something else that might work well. And if not, this is probably the fallback option. So I didn't find anything else that I thought would work, but I had an idea come to me. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on some cork. I have a whole container with food-related stamps. I might as well use them. So I have this one that says Big Bite. This is a set that's from Kelly Perky. Does it say on here what it is? It just says Hero Arts. I'll hold that up there. CL814. And I don't know if you can still get this one in her shop or through Hero Arts. Not sure. Sorry. Um, but I've used this set a lot because I do like to, you know, document food. <laughs> so I'm going to use it again. And I'm going to use stays on ink to make sure that it really gives um, a nice look on this cork. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp here. And actually, I should probably test it before I do it for real. So let's just do this. Since it is black, I want to make sure I get good coverage. Oh, pretty good. All right, we'll ink it up again. All right, so I just want to put it up here to make sure I have enough space to where my punch is going to be able to 
get in there. So I think I'm going to go about here. Press down really hard to make sure that the ink soaks in. And we're just going to hope that it's even. Uh, it's not totally perfect, but you know, good enough, I think, for this particular project. And I know some people don't clean off their stamps. I do, and I especially do when I use stays on. I mean, look at that. Even with having cleaner on the pad, I mean, this pad is old too. Look how much gunk is on there. But even so, like, it probably all won't come off. Stays on really stains stamps. It doesn't affect the image at all, but you know, then the stamps don't look pretty anymore. I'm okay with that, so not a big deal for me. So I've got that ready. This punch is a one and a fourth inch circle. So I'm just going to put that, the cork right in there, line it up, get it as close as I can. That's pretty darn perfect in terms of sizing. And then this is going to probably make a noise as it punches against the desk here. Not too bad. And there I have my own little embellishment. In the inspiration photo I'm using here, they have their circular element, you know, sort of off center because they want it on this background paper. So I'm going to do that too. So mine will go about right there. And as I learned previously, after I had made one of these and tried to stick it on, glue dots are not your friend when it comes to using cork pieces. So don't do that. So I'm just going to use my mono glue. In that photo, they also had a date stamp here. Now, I did a layout previously that also had a date stamp because I used a sketch or an inspiration photo for that one as well. So even though I already had the date in here, I do like the way it looks, so I did it again. Um, just for consistency's sake, though, I did use the same date roller stamp. I have like three of these. <laughs> so I, I kept it the same. So this is the Heidi Swap one, and it's a mix of kind of the cursive or handwriting plus just, you know, a normal font for the rest of it. Now for this side, I sort of kept it with the same type of look they had. So here's their photo. This is some pattern paper behind and it's overlapping that corner. So I decided to do that even though my photo is still a three by four, it's not a four by four. Now I also chose to cut this paper. Originally it was, you know, half of that six by six piece of paper. I actually cut this to three and four and a half. So it's shorter than this side, but not exactly what they picture here, but I do think it works. Now, it might be hard to see in here, but they do have some washi behind here. They also have the date again. I'm not gonna do the date since I chose to do it on the other page. I don't need it twice, it's all the same day, but I am gonna do some washi there. And I thought that since I had brought in some black here, and this is very dark, almost black, that I could maybe get away with using this washi. So I'm gonna try it. If I don't like it, I can always pull it up, but I'm gonna try it. So let's see here. Whoops, there we go. Whoop. And I think they have a straight edge on there. I kind of like the ripped edges for washi, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I like it. Oh, now I wish I had put some over here. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll figure out how to maybe just do a little piece here or something to tie, tie that together. But I do like it, so I'm going to keep the washi. So I've decided to pull out some more Kelly Perky stamps to make a phrase down here. They have this listed. This is not English, sorry. Um, they have this listed and a little bit of journaling. I'm probably not going to journal. I really thought I would do much more journaling on this page, but this is, you know, all my space is being taken up. So that's all right. I was more there for the photo walk of all the buildings and stuff than for the food. So, so that's okay. But I am going to use this one that says, I, you, we ate this. I'm going to say we, since I was with my daughter. So I'm going to use that one. And this is um, from 2015. And it was a collaboration between One Little Bird and Kelly Perky. And it's called Hashtag Hangry. <laughs> So I have to keep it real and show you what happened. <laughs> when I went to stamp, this is what happened. Boo, sad face. So 
I thought about trying to line it up and redo it since it's a clear stamp. Frankly, that scares the heck out of me. And I think it happened because I forgot this, that I had a little lumpy element on the other side. So and you can see it did show through a little bit. There's not much I can do about that now. Um, so what I'm going to do is cover this up. So I have to find either another piece of white paper or something light where I can restamp and redo it. So I'll be back once I fix that. Here's how I decided to fix that little boo-boo. I stamped this on just a scrap piece of white, same size or same width as, as the green paper. And so it's white on white, but in order to fix this, because I didn't like that these, you could clearly see a separation. I didn't like that. So what I decided to do was take this washi, cut it in half this way. So it's a thinner strip with the same pattern. And I'm going to put it in between. Now the top part is actually, you know, perfect and straight because that was the edge of the washi. The other edge is kind of, you know, not straight. It's a, it's a little jagged. I don't mind that though, because all of my edges here are jagged. And by the way, in case you missed that, I did add a little piece of it over here because I like it. So I'm going to put this right here. Oops. Try to center it a little bit. And there, I like it. I think it works. It brings in the black and white element. Now I've got it actually, I have a visual triangle, which I didn't intend, um, but it's there. So, you know, happy accident, I guess. So I've got that. And then I think the last piece I'm going to do, where's that bacon flare? Here we go. They have the butterfly over in this bottom left-hand corner. And so I think I'm gonna take my mm, bacon little flare and do something similar so it will overlap like this. I had thought um, I might put it up here because it seemed like it balanced the red more um, but then I thought well what if I do want to journal I could save that space. So oh shoot now that I look at it maybe I do like it better up here. Oh but no because then I've got two circle elements that are kind of right across from each other. Nope it's going to go down here It'll overlap as I intended, and then I could put something there. I could stamp again if I want, or I can journal. I have options. I have decided that I'm going to stamp up there. And since my daughter was with me this day, she's 20, just turned 20, and I thought, well, since she's kind of in that social media age where they're using it all the time, I would pull out this stamp. This is another one from this set again by Kelly Perky. I'm going to use the hashtag delicious stamp if it will come into focus nope not going to cooperate there we go hashtag delicious so we're going to go with that one and we're going to put it kind of a little off center to the right up there because this is covering it on this side so it won't show the bleed through of the ink if i place it strategically so that is my plan let's hope i don't screw up this one so i think maybe over here There we go, hashtag delicious. All right, clean that off quickly. And I think we're done. So I certainly didn't journal as I had planned and it came out a little differently than the picture. So here's the starting photo again, pulled from Pinterest by the way. And then here is the final layout. So even though I had a snafu down here and I had to get creative with how to fix it, I really like it. I'm almost glad that happened because it worked out well in the end. So I hope you think so too. And thanks for watching everybody. Bye.